Hi, After School All Stars Los Angeles family. I hope you guys are all safe. During this time, I would like to spread some love, peace, and encouragement your way. Please make sure to self care. It is important you take care of yourself. During this time, I am taking care of myself by almost exercising every day and practicing music. Dealing with this situation we are in now, it is not easy, so I make sure every day is counted. I would also like to give a shout out to my program leaders for always making sure to provide activity plans for our students to do at home. Coming together with my team of program leaders, PCs, OGM, PSS, and admin to provide and support our mission to educate, enlighten, and inspire. How are you continuing to help and support our, our mission to educate, enlighten, and inspire after school All Stars students virtually? And what was your process? We really came together with different ideas on how we can help our students. I'm very grateful for the LAUSD team meetings that we have been a part of because those have given me different ideas. And where my process really started was finding out what platforms I could use to really get information out there to my students and connect with them. So Schoology has been like my best friend. That's been my tool. Really having individual sit downs with my program leaders has helped because now I'm helping them launch things and really get their ideas off the ground. Because in this new innovative time, any idea is a good idea, especially if you're willing to try it. Continue to support our after school officers mission to educate and light and inspire students by continuing to build those connections with them. Um, we've been very fortunate um, through Google Classroom that not only are we able to upload new activities for the students to do on a ba daily basis, but we're also go able to go on live with them. Our coaches are able to connect through them, even though we're not with them physically. Not only do we offer live tutoring for the students that are struggling, but besides that, during summer, we're really um, aiming to help with the learning loss that was that affected our students, um, you know, for the spring semester when we went on to quarantine in March by their staff running activities with them geared towards social emotional learning, science, math, literacy. Um, we even have some coding, which is pretty amazing. Um, and, and, you know, in that way, we continue to bring new opportunities to the students, regardless of whether we're physically with them or not. We've been working collaboratively with our school based staff, after school all stars, our home office to make sure that we're providing all of the necessary resources and connections that we possibly can, such as daily meals, weekly grocery boxes, gift cards, student motivational raffle prizes, and essential supplies or gift bags. We are doing everything we possibly can to be able to make sure our students are educated, enlightened, and inspired uh, for them to continue to push forward and be able to return um, whenever we can possibly have them return to site. What are you optimistic about? I think there's a lot to be optimistic about. I think people are taking the times to figure out who they are, to really get back to those activities that we never get to do because we're so busy with school and work. You guys sitting at home are thinking about ways to make our world better thinking about ways to make sure that a pandemic like this never happens again. And that's important that we have this time to really sit and think and, and find a way forward. So continue to take advantage of classes and things being offered because it's really important to your development and your growth. And I can't wait to see, you know, what this next generation um, brings forth for us. We're not alone here to help you um, uh, whatever we can and however we can. And so we just have to keep on communicating, keep on uh, meeting, keep on um, offering the services and not forgetting each other. During this time in quarantine, the best that I can say um, for our students and just us as educators um, is to not give up. It's very difficult and I know that we miss our students, we miss the laughs and the conversations and just being at site with others around us. But this just this is our new normal and we can continue to do that in a different platform. It's kind of hard knowing the unknown of the coronavirus and where we're at with it. But I know that I still have a lot of people who send positive energy to me, send me love and make sure that I'm OK. Um, so that's that's enough for me to be optimistic. That's enough for me to you know, try my best not to be as worrisome in, in this chaos that's going on. So I think I'm, I'm definitely optimistic to that degree. And other than that, like I appreciate life and life is worth living. As long as you have breath, you should take your best stride. Remember, I matter, you matter, your health matters, and everyone around you matters. 
always to stay safe and healthy and always remember your why.